Welcome back to Corey's Corner. This episode of e-commerce with Rails is brought to you by thoughtsandfitness.com. It's thoughtsandfitness.com for only $7 a month. You can have access to premium monthly workout plans. So in this video, we are going to be building this little header section of thoughtsandfitness.com with these two buttons and this sexy little line over here. Now, if you're a fan of Rails, I'm sure you've heard of Getting Real and Basecamp. These are the guys who invented Rails, and Getting Real is just one of their many books on making web applications. I use a lot of the Getting Real process, not only when I built thoughtsandfitness.com, but when I built some of my other projects as well. One of the main takeaways I had from Getting Real was that you don't really need to be an expert in anything to be a full stack developer. You just need to know enough. And when I was building thoughtsandfitness.com, I didn't use any CSS. This is all Tailwind, and these are even Tailwind components. This is all reusable stuff. So if we come on over to the Tailwind documentation, we can check out this component right now. So a component is just a pre-built section. Go on over to the hero section. We're going to want to see the code and make sure this is on HTML. So we scroll down, we scroll down. Well, first, we're going to need... Yeah, we're going to need to go from this main all the way to the bottom. So we can just copy this and then we're going to place this inside of our home controller. So our, so this component, it's orig it originally uses the indigo color, but we want our site to be red. So we're going to go do a global uh, find and replace on the word indigo. So on my system, on RubyMine, it's Command F. On your text editor, it's going to be different. So just look how to do that up. But then we change indigo to red, just like that. Oops, we don't need to do enter. But anyway, that is that. So up here, this first span, we can just type thoughts. And down here, we can type and fitness. And then we can just, we're not going to do anything in this paragraph, so we're just going to delete all that. So that was shift command right uh, on Mac OS, that what I just did there. And we're going to do join now down here. But we also need to add a div element. You'll see that these are highlighted because we don't have all our divs. So this is going to have a class of relative BG white, background white overflow hidden by all means if you don't know any of these classes feel free to look them up in the tailwind docs so we have another one div class max w 7 xl mx dash auto boom, boom, boom. and then we have one filler div class actually i don't think we really need this one but we also need to add our line picture so what I like to do both in production and when I'm giving a demo for a client, if I need stock photos, I come on over to unsplash.com. It's a tool I use a lot as a developer. So I just downloaded this photo from Mr. Eric Combo. Sorry if I, it's definitely a French name, but I butchered it. So I downloaded this photo, it's all for free and I use that for this tutorial. So you're gonna wanna come on over I just named it lion.jpg. You drop it in the images folder, which is inside of assets, and now you have access to it. So to use an image in a view, I don't think I've gone over this in past tutorials. You want to use the image tag helper. So you do percent equal image underscore tag. And you just pass in your file name, lion.jpg. And then we want to copy this class right here. And then we can delete this. Shift command, boom, boom, boom. And we're gonna rail five these links later um, when we actually have working links. But for now, we can just leave them in plain text HTML. If I come on over, I should be pretty much all set with this. And my lion link is not. What the heck happened? Let me restart the dev server. I think I need one more div maybe.
Hmm. I do need one more dev. I think that was it. Oh, I don't know why Webpacker is taking so long to compile this. But anyway, yeah, our website is now up and running. Um, so you might want to use another image. I might change that later, but I'm going to keep this as is. So just to review, unsplash.com is a great resource for finding stock photos for your websites. Um, you can use components to basically build a dope looking website with little to no work. You usually just have to make a few modifications. Um, they also have premium components, components on um, Tailwind, which I will check out later. And you should definitely read the Getting Real book. These are the guy. It's free, actually. You can download a PDF and read it online. It is my the Bible of web application development. That's it for this episode. In the next episode, fingers crossed, we're going to get into some cool rail stuff. We're going to be building a dynamic form to make workouts of the day. But until then, be sure to subscribe to this channel, please, my podcast, and check out my medium for more Rails content. Thank you.